What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and in today's video we are diving into a track from Papa Roach. I am so stoked about this. Didn't think we'd ever do a Papa Roach reaction on my channel. I think this was from a couple years ago. The song is called Kill the Noise. I want to give a huge shout out to Victoria over on Patreon for requesting this. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in this, I do on Patreon. You can sign up. You get one request a month. So it's kind of cool. A lot of these like artists that I don't check out a lot or that maybe like aren't super popular, but you see me post a video a lot of the times it'll be because people submit them over there. So if you're interested, links in the description, I'm excited to check this out. Haven't listened to Papa Roach in quite a while. So let's do it. They're set to increase later this week. The world awaiting comment from the latest political trip. Local detectives do suspect that ego is to blame in the disturbing crime. I just feel like I'm channeling something. But did he have a whole ass grill? Did Papa? Did Papa Roach? I don't know it's not Papa Roach, but does he have a grill? Ego is to blame in the disturbing crime. I just feel like I'm challenged. Oh, yeah, he does. I don't know if he's got tops, but he's got lowers. It's fucking sick. Um. Holy shit. I actually kind of feel like Papa Roach is one of those bands that I actually don't know what to expect when it starts. I've heard them do, you know, a range of things from the songs that made them famous to also like, I don't know, there was kind of an emo wave that happened. Let me make sure my autofocus isn't off. Um, There was like an emo wave that happened and I feel like I actually attribute a lot of the music to that era. So like I said, you never really know what you're going to get when you listen to Papa Roach. Oh shit. Those drums are sick. This is what this is songwriting 101 right here, okay? Like this is fucking awesome because when when I hear a group that I would consider more to be like definitely on the rock side, but lean into those pop influences ever so often, it is how shit like this becomes so commercially successful. That was hard. Even that drum was so interesting that like, if you're not like a fan of this type of music, I don't know that you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to love this. But like, if you've been listening to it for a long time, you know exactly what's about to fucking happen, right? You know exactly what's going to happen. We're going to have this rough verse and we're going to get a super melodic chorus. And I love that we get that here. Damn. Oh yeah. One more on that. When it comes back in, that's so hard. God damn. I just, I like this line again. I want to listen to it one more time. Keep screaming. I live through the painful reason. My God, my anger. It drives me down like an anchor. It's so fucking true. Like you think about, yeah, he does have lowers. Those are sick. I need to get some. Anyways, um, that is true. Like you do, like all of your demons really do drag you down so fucking low. And it seems to be like especially like when you feel the when you feel the anger the rage is when you can really get anchored down and tied down so it's fucking oh especially with that delivery those those drums in that bass I love that riff. It's so melodic. Oh shit. Let's fucking go. Shut up. Oh! God 
damn, they are fucking. Ooh, showing up heavy as fuck on those. Oh. Come back in that film? Yes! Let's go! year is this this is two years ago oh okay so everything that i was thinking about this i kind of just saw in the comments just now well not in the comments but in the description where so it says five million views i'm shocked to hear that i legitimately shocked i'm fucking stoked about it though because this is hard as fuck if you would have told me that we're checking out papa roach and it's gonna be this hard i would have went into it a little questionable like wait are you sure like you think it's really gonna be that hard dude this is what i talk about when i talk about bands that just evolve with time the the stuff that papa roach first put out i still say absolutely incredible however you can tell musically it is from an entirely different era a different generation and music evolves and evolution is so important and god damn it papa roach fucking came out swinging with this it is very difficult even for a successful band even a successful band to get 4.9 million views on anything ever those kind of numbers in rock i feel like i mean i'm sure you see it right like it's happening but like i feel like those kind of numbers in hip-hop super normal k-pop absolutely pop music sure pop rock even but like when songs start to get heavy 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 like this it becomes what you would assume would be a little less accessible, right? Obviously, I disagree, especially with the writing style. They know exactly what they're doing here. You can write a heavy fucking song, but with the right melody and just the right, right hook, the right wording, the right vocal like change up, and it becomes very accessible. I fucking love this. I think they went all out on this, and it's really incredible. Like I said, Papa Roach has been essentially a household name most of my life. Like they've been big like everyone knows papa roach but to see them continuing to push the boundaries i've seen them go on tour with bands like a day to remember and things like that again very important things not only for just staying relevant in music but also you're traveling with the i mean I, it's crazy because like i saw a day to remember like first album like or like one of the first tours they came to houston there was like no one there but look at that band as they've evolved. They're so fucking good and so popular, right? And that is the same thing I think about with Papa Roach. Like, yeah, you're going on tour with the with the newer generation or like a generation above yours. And like you pick up little things here and there and you kind of like see where the music is going. And then how can Papa Roach as a band define their success and their music style in that in that new sound? And this is it. And it's fucking sick. And I love the song so much. I love just the passion that's coming through in those verses. It's hard. The time signatures are weird. The, the drums are interesting. The bass is fucking heavy and distorted and played super aggressively. So like it's all this shit brewing, you know, it's going to burst at some point. And that's exactly what we get at the end of this track when it absolutely fucking burst and we just have an absolute breakdown. I also love the decision every once in a while to just like skip one bar. Like you just skip one bar and then drop that breakdown and that little pause right there for it, it's it's not even a second, right? It happens so fast, but it is such a just like a uh it makes so much momentum with that break and then a breakdown coming in. So this is definitely the hardest I've ever heard Papa Roach sound. And this was two years ago. Not sure what they're putting out now, but holy fuck, I would actually love to see this band live because one, I know the classics, all right? Like Broken Home, come on. But mm, if I could see a song like this live, I would fucking lose it because you know that this song is going to 
translate so much better live and it was already so hard here so kill the noise absolute banger from papa roach you guys got to go check it out i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what you guys think and huge shout out to victoria i will see you all in the next one peace